I'm, I'm just gonna rent you. I'm, I'm like, I, I don't, I don't want to do art. I don't want to do other stuff right now. You either like do art or grind Pokemon. I'm like, eh. I think I just want to grind Sandland. So it's very casual. I'm just <laughs> watching YouTube on the side and like having mute. I'm like, uh, second, second stream. I hate. Uh, I definitely a VOD right now, just in case I'm like, I'm, I'm worried about space sometimes. I'm, I definitely, I think I should be good. But, uh, into Sandland, some horse. Let's go. Uh, because what I was trying to... Do you need anything? ...get... Uh, parts for making the jump bot. That's like where I was at. Just, I, I managed to get one part for it. So you can go around and get in the um, other ones. See you later. I should turn this up a bit more. Not by much. Why do you have your eyes closed? Well, because there's raptors, and I'm scared. We drove them away already. Huh? Oh, they really are gone. I truly am one lucky son of a gun. Wait, now there's demons? I'm not lucky at all. If it's not one thing, it's another for this guy. <laughs> and here I thought that with the raptors gone, I'd finally get to make my deliveries to Spino. Spino? Wait, are you a peddler? Indeed, I am. Then hurry before you get attacked again. Aedes is waiting. Oh, you know Aedes? Then are you the one who drove that raptor away? They were snapping at my heels, so I sent them flying. That's all. Even so, it doesn't change the fact that you saved me. Here. Take this as thanks. I don't want it. Don't oh. say that. If I don't thank you properly, my luck will sour. Hey, I said I don't want your thanks. Don't force it on me. Well, then I'll follow your advice and hurry on to Spino. Bye. Give me a break. What's wrong with that guy? In one ear and out the other.
desert gets awfully chilly at night. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. I guess it gets cold so fast at night because there's no moisture in the air to retain any of the day's heat. Uh, what to do? I'm in a bind. Yes. I hear mumbling. Is anyone there? The desert gets awfully chilly at night. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. <laughs> yes, I busted! This must be my end, yes! The heck you going on about? Huh? Wait, you're not a wannabe junker. Of course not. I'm the Fiend Prince, Beelzebub. You fiend! <laughs> Shaking in your boots, are ya? You're scary, yes. But I'll take help from anyone right now, even a fiend. Please, save me, yes? He sounds like he's had a rough time of it. How about we hear what he has to say? Hmm. I don't like feeling like a last resort. But I'll hear you out. Thank you so much! Start from the beginning. And go at your own speed. Well, as you can see, I'm hiding from wannabe junkers. All because I've earned their ire. You've pissed them off enough to need to go on the run from them? I can't deny it, yes. It's just the way I am, yes. Whenever someone forbids me from doing something, I feel compelled to do just that, which is exactly what got me on their bad side. What'd you do? When I was in the Royal Army, while on patrol with my unit, we came across a caravan being attacked by wannabe junkers, yes. However, our captain was apparently friends with some of those wannabe junkers. He forbade us to rescue the caravan, yes. The second I heard that, I knew I just had to go save the caravan. I plowed on in with my tank and drove them away, yes? Discharged for insubordination and with wannabe junkers on my tail. I just barely managed to escape. Now I'm hiding away in here, yes? But it won't be long before they find this old shack. And when they do, I just know I'll be... <clears throat> I shudder to even think of it. Anything forbidden, huh? Hey, don't shout, no matter what. I forbid it. Huh? Why would you say that? If you forbid it, I... Hey, hear that? The bastard's in those ruins. Hey, I busted, yes! I'm done for, yes! It's your fault, Prince. 100%. Damn. I'm a little bit to blame. I'll help you out. Oh, there he is. Uh, heard you, stupid uh, That's not Moe's. Forgive you for that. Hey, where's Moe's? Am I hiding him? And you'll pay for it. I'd love to see you try. I do now what do you mean do whatever you want sure but now that I've been discharged from the Royal Army I don't have anywhere to go yes for real 
If he's got nowhere else to go, how about inviting him to Spino? Right! You can just go to Spino! Spino, yes? It's a town looking for new residents. Marvelous! Oh, but would they accept one such as me? Well, there's so few inhabitants, it's almost a ghost town. I bet they'd be happy to have you. In that case, I might indeed be of use to them, yes. I'll give it a shot, yes! Like we're in for a fight. Go! Oh my god. Tell me something. How do humans make a living? Perhaps. Agriculture, hunting, trade, it's pretty varied. And some bad eggs resort to thievery, of course. We steal from humans sometimes, too. <sighs>
There are plenty of towns and villages across Sandland. We should stop by if we come upon any. Won't the townspeople be scared of us demons, though? Surely not everyone will react like that. Some people are bound to be friendly toward you. <sighs> I'd prefer for everyone to be scared, honestly. Oh. I would love to get to discover something that no one's ever seen before. You gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. According to the map, this air... area is near the center of Sandland. Wow! So we can reach a bunch of places from here, huh? Not really. The steep cliffs make traveling north or south of here a serious challenge. Pretty inconvenient for a central hub. might be able to reach these inaccessible spots one day. The more bots you have, the more options you'll have to travel to new places. Let's try to remember this spot. Here we go!
pays to take the time to stop and observe your surroundings every now and then. You just might make some exciting discoveries. Reviewing your box setup helps too. And if we can find- Hey! Hey! Thank you for coming! Thank you. Thank you for coming. Hello. If a foe's too tough, you can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing as too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Right, all right, fine. Still can't come to terms with just how vast the outside world is. Don't want to think about how hard it would be to get around without vehicles. But it used to be even bigger, and there were no vehicles. Civilization truly made the world smaller. In more ways than one. for that is okay.
need to keep our bearings passing between the cliffs. It's easy to lose your sense of direction on these windy roads. If you get lost, be sure to check the map. Yep. Whoever think you might Ooh, tower. Keeps going. Is this a mountain trail? No, it's a junction. The path could lead to the least stop battleship. Junction? It's a fork in the road base. This used to be a key transportation route. So it's not being used anymore? No, probably not. Yep. If we can use this, we can repair it. Just need material. Okay, now for some hot intel on the area.
Here we go. Spiral Mountain, like man, look at Louie. How do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for truly. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, and Thief even stole someone's comic the other day. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. How do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for truly. How do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for true evil. We do stuff like dig pitfalls where people like to walk. Oh, and Thief even stole someone's comic the other day. Some of my finest work, if I do say so myself. See? You're evil, right? Yeah, right. Sort of fun. Something 
tells me we're going to get lost. Yeah, I barely know which way is up either. humans have managed to grow over the years. Not even a smidge. All they do is wage war. Same as always. You may be right. But their video games are getting better and better. The only things we get credit for are games no one even knows how. It took some real damage back. Oh, that was a bad idea. I traveled around to all sorts of places in my youth, but there's still so much to see. This trip should be fun for you then. Wish I could just relax and enjoy it. But not when so many others are suffering. Whoop. There are paths in every possible direction. This place is an absolute maze. My head's already spinning. Looks like there are valuables just lying around all over the place. My head's spinning. There are plenty of towns and villages across Sandland. We should stop by if we come upon it. Won't the townspeople be scared of us demons, though? Surely not everyone will react like that. Some people are bound to be friendly toward you. <sighs> I'd prefer for everyone to be scared, honestly. There are paths in every possible direction. This place is an absolute maze. My head. 
head's already spinning. Looks like there are valuables just lying around all over the place. The desert gets awfully chilly. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. I guess it gets cold so fast at night because there's no moisture in the air to retain any of the day's heat. We demons will be just fine. You humans who should worry. True. We seem to be more vulnerable to pretty much everything. We'll be careful. Enemies take you by surprise, just stay calm and try to get distance from them. And then, run away. Running in a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. But nice! One down! Oh, 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 oh. Never mind, never mind, never mind! Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! No, never, 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 never mind. This must be Spino. I'll try my best to be useful to everyone. Yes. Merchant, that was you. Let me thank you, too. You truly are a lifesaver. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Can't you just let her thank you? <laughs> I've got new wares available thanks to you. Feel free to take a look. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Do you need any? Wow. 
primary weapon. See you later. Looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! Nothing's going my way. What's up, old man? Oh? Oh! Are you... a demon? Yep! I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub! <laughs> my luck must really have run out to cross paths with a demon. Did he just click his tongue at the prince? He must not know the meaning of fear. Hey! Did you not hear what I said? Could you be a little more scared? Huh. <laughs> So what if you're the Fiend Prince? I'm a hunter. And a Geji Dragon's the next target I plan on bagging. A demon child's nothing in comparison. You're hunting Geji Dragons? Best drop that dud of a plan now. Even I'm no match for that beast. Ha! <laughs> Don't put you and me in the same basket. I've compiled the Geji Dragon Strategy Guide to bring it down. Hmm, sounds interesting. Let me take a look at it. A way to kill the Geji Dragon. <laughs> no can do. The cave I hid it in collapsed. Ugh. No one. You'll have to fetch it yourself if you want to see it. Bring it to me and I'll let you read it. Heck, I'll even pay you. I guess. Here we go.
Here we go. When fighting in cramped areas like cliffs, beware of blind spots. Getting caught off guard puts you at a disadvantage. I definitely hate to lose like that. I'll be careful. Is that the cave? These cracked rocks look breakable, though probably not by hand. But the tank's cannon might just do the trick. Thanks. Here's your reward. Still, talk about tough luck. After so many natural disasters, the Sandlands in bad shape. There might be other blocked caves like this one. True. We'll keep an eye out for them. Mm-hmm. Never mind that. You'll let me read that guide, right? I, Seth, the giant beast hunter, wrote it. Read it with care. All right, let's see what we have here. So, what's lost? A good match for Kyuki. Oi, old man, this looks like it was written by a toddler. I wrote it on the road, so you might have to squint a little. But it can't be that bad. Like right here, it says, uh, that the dragon, um, uh, the dragon, uh, oof. See? Damn. Guess I have to rewrite it. How unlucky can you get? Next time, sit down while you write. <laughs> I know that. I'll rewrite it carefully once I find a base for my hunt. A base? You're looking for a place to stay? You should go to Spino, then. Spino? A town looking for new residents to help rebuild it. I see. Which means there aren't a whole lot of inhabitants yet. Guess it'd be a perfect place to settle down and write a book. All right, I'll move into that Spino place of yours. And once I'm done with the book, Genji Dragon will be on the menu. Guess you'll be going hungry. I think you're unfortunately right. Oh, wow.
need to keep our bearings passing between the cliffs. It's easy to lose your sense of direction on these windy roads. If you get lost, be sure to check the map. Yep. So, how do demons usually spend their day? <laughs> Brace for true evil. Yes. Yes. What's up? the only travelers out here we should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves it's a communal camp that's open to all travelers talk about convenient Here we go. Always remain calm, no matter the situation. Clear thinking will lead you to victory, even when the odds are against you. You're talking to the Fiend Prince. I'm like the definition of calm. Sure has a lot of different creatures. Including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid. Plenty are harmless, though. Just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us. Humans may be weak, but they sure are persistent.
Looks like there's something up there. I think there's a cave or something in there. Let's see. I'm okay. The sand broke my fall. I wonder what they might have originally been built for. Hidden treasure, too. Maybe it was at a playground? One dangerous place to leave your children. Only you could have fun here, Bialz. Prince, do be careful. You never know what might jump out at us. Don't worry. Whatever it is, I'll beat it up. Try not to wreck the place and bury me alive. There are a lot of small caves all over Sandland. There may be items inside them that could be of use to us. Really? Let's explore any that we find then. Make sure to check your gear every now and then.
never know when something you've picked up might come in handy. Thank you for coming. Hey, you there. Can you do me a huge favor and get me something? Huh? No way. Please? My boss will kill me if I don't get ten pieces of iron ore. Get it yourself then. I tried, I promise. I was mining for it till just now. Then I found a comic someone left behind at the mine. And it was really good. I completely lost track of the time. Is the comic really that good? You like comics? I'll let you read it if you bring me the ore. Here, take this while you're at it. Hmm. You're the best. Thanks, buddy. Did you get what I need? Thanks, you're a lifesaver. I did your favor. Can I see the comic now? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's actually pretty funny. I know, right? <laughs> oh, and here's the thing I promise. Thanks. I can never have too many of these. So bring s I'll repay you, of course, and stock up on some new comics, too. Lacking off as usual, I see. This comic's just too good. <sighs> anyway, I'm in need of some more of this stuff. Got any? If so, want to try? Oh, very nice. Back Pleasure. In a hurry. Eh. Okie doke. Stop. Oh, I could still use more. Look. <laughs> Hey. Here we go. Oi. That's quiet, you didn't never do that. Hello. Thank you for coming. Here we go.
kind of region are we in? Well, there should be a few towns, an army base, and a bandit hideout around here. Soldiers and bandits? Sounds like nothing but trouble. Exactly. Don't let your guard down. sure has a lot of different creatures including some dangerous ones I'd like to avoid plenty are harmless though just doing their best to survive in this harsh land like us humans may be weak but they sure are persistent For a base of operations, looks like you'll have to put up with me for a while. Do you need any? Time to stop we're racking at a primary weapon. Primary weapon. Jump. See you later. Here we go. We need to keep our bearings passing between the cliffs. It's easy to lose your sense of direction on these windy roads. If you get lost, be sure to check the map. Make sure to check your gear every now and then. You never know when 
and something you've picked up might come in handy. It's such a waste to let bot parts just rust away, too. Got it. I'll give them a look. No beautiful parts, damn. Tells me we're going to get lost. Yeah, I barely know which way is up either.
lot of wannabe junkers here. Plenty of high purchase, too. Beware of attacks from above. I hate campers so much. Here we go. in every possible direction. This place is an absolute maze. My head's already spinning. Looks like there are valuables just lying around all over the place. Uh, that'll pink. Uh, leave that one. Junkers here. Plenty of high purchase, too. Beware of attacks from above. Oh. I hate campers so much. Whoop. This is one mazy mountain. Indeed. Something tells me we're going to get lost. Yeah, I barely know which way is up either. What the hell? Take that! <laughs> I your jester? <laughs> Fine, but I'll only tell one. Hit me. Why are cacti so grumpy? They're prickly by nature. You know, maybe driving's not so bad.
lot of wannabe junkers here. Plenty of high purchase, too. Beware of attacks from above. I hate campers so much. every possible direction. This place is an absolute maze. My head's already spinning. Looks like there are valuables just lying around all over the place. accessible spots will be. The more bots you have, the more options you'll have to travel to new places. Let's try to remember this spot. Are we in? Well, there should be a few towns, an army base. And a bandit hideout around here. Soldiers and bandits. Sounds like nothing but trouble. Jack, don't let your guard down. bodies can't digest a lot of them. And then there's others that are downright poisonous to us. <laughs> Humans just have weak stomachs. So you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything? Impressive. Oops.
If enemies take you by surprise, just stay calm, calm and try to get distance from them. And then, run away. Running in a blind panic gives them more chances to hit you in the back. Assess the situation calmly instead. legs. question why can humans eat some plants but not others our bodies can't digest a lot of them and then there's others that are downright poisonous to us <laughs> humans just have weak stomachs so you demon stomachs are so strong you can eat just about anything impressive of course not silly I see <laughs> it's under the, the sand print. It could surface anywhere. I know, I know.
sure is hot out here. How are you holding up, Prince? What do you mean? This level of heat's nothing. Sure beats the cold, at least. I, for one, much prefer the heat to the cold as well. Is tolerating heat well just part of being a demon? Depends on the demon. Slime shriveled up, after all. Plenty of towns and villages across Sandland. We should stop by if we come upon any. Won't the townspeople be scared of us demons, though? Surely not everyone will react like that. Some people are bound to be friendly toward you. <sighs> I'd prefer for everyone to be scared, honestly. need any oh I could I could have made one of these the whole time okay <laughs> if I only knew that make vehicle make vehicle make jump bot about you didn't think she could I'll be honest I had my doubts you must have had a fine mentor no mentor for me I'm completely self-taught just picked up what I could here and there there's just always been a lot for me to tinker around with Incredible. In it? You know, it's awfully fitting that we made a bot to outbox the royals at the rebel army's ex base. Almost like it's fate. All right, then, let's get a move on already. If you have any problems with the bot, come back for repairs anytime. Thanks. Prince, 
Before we head to the East Valley, let's scout the Southern Road. What for? I want to see what the army might be able to throw at us. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. So that girl, Anne. Uh, you mean me? What about her? Been thinking. She's a good girl. <laughs> you got called a good girl. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. I'm afraid I don't follow either. Oh, it's just that I saw her in the garage, fixing a car. She was enjoying herself so much, it was positively infectious. Just watching her work put this car lover in a good mood. <laughs> Next time, come over to say hello instead of staring, all right? Cars are awesome. Sure wish I had my own. Ooh, so you're a car aficionado, too. Then you should really head to the junk pit. The junk pit? Turn right at the fork leading to the Lee Saab Junkers Market. There's a pit where junkers toss all the stuff they don't need. You're saying I can find a car there? Maybe not a whole car, but you might find a frame. Sweet! I'll be sure to swing by! Ooh. What does Anne want? Do you need anything? Homie's back, yeah. Hey, nice to see you again. Is it just my imagination, or has the town gotten more lively? Oh yeah, I found something cool, so I'll share it with you. Ooh. Bring me any rare items you find. I'll make it worth your while. Don't mind if I do. As I thought, we don't have enough. Why the long face, Gramps? Oh, it's you, Beelzebub. Well, Spino has been really picking up lately. Isn't that good news? It is, which is why I thought this would be a great opportunity to build new facilities for the town. That sounds great. Where's the problem then? We don't have enough materials to build new bridges or buildings. We can make do salvaging old materials here and there. But scraps are scraps. I'd like to use something more durable. I don't know much about construction, but it sounds like a lot of work. Well, it would go faster if I could lay hands on some raptor steel. Raptor steel? What's that? It's a kind of metal that's been alloyed with raptor scales. It's stronger and more malleable than normal steel. Bolts, nuts. You can even make pipes with it. It can be used for almost anything. It can be used to upgrade vehicles too. Upgrade vehicles? For real? Now you've got his interest. I 
I'll help you get some if it means we can upgrade our stuff. Wonderful. Your help would be most appreciated. However, you can't just find raptor steel out in nature. Only a skilled material processor would be capable of crafting some. Then we just need to bring someone like that to Spino. A skilled material processor. Oh, that's right. Back in the day, I used to know a skilled craftsman called Nors. And nowadays, he's running a workshop in Talbo, I think. Could you go see him for me? Nors in Talbo? Okay. We're on it. Great, thanks. In the meantime, I'll do what I can with what we have on hand. Good luck. Out we go. Fuck it, I'll go to the pit. Uh, Not okay. I don't want to fight an army. Thank you. Thank you for coming. There's more to that girl than meets the eye. Who is she, really? You mean Anne? What does it matter anyway? Perhaps it doesn't. Everyone has secrets they wouldn't like others to pry into, after all. Jump spot around here. Jump. What goes through your head in the middle of a fight? How I'm gonna... Beat the other guy to a pulp! That's a start, but...
but you might get better results by predicting what your enemy is going to do and reacting accordingly. You'll find it hard to lose if you're always fighting on favorable terms. Oh, it's a different pit. Oh, wait. There we go. Wonder if there's anything of value left. Well, then let's find it and get going. Prince, it's good to wander off the beaten path sometimes. Detours can be the source of all sorts of discoveries. True. We might come across other travelers' abandoned belongings or usable equipment. <laughs> Spoken like a true thief. We've come all the way to this scrap pit for a car frame, but can we really find one here? We will! Lady Lux a fan of mine! <laughs> what was that you were saying about Lady Lux, Prince? Oh, shut up! I'll just knock him out of the way! Rao, you okay? Just a few more parts, we could actually make a whole car. We need parts too? Where'd you get those? If not here, I'm not sure where. Let's try asking Noel. Here we go.
So, did you find yourselves a car frame? You bet we did. But we need more parts to build our car. Have any idea where we can nab some? But I'm sure you'll come across some suit of cars love car lovers after. I suppose. Well, guess we'll keep an eye out then. Let me take that car of yours for a spin once you build it. <laughs> I'll think about it. Do you need anything? Thank you for coming. Do you need any? Thank you for coming. Do you need anything?
Talbot's a town that was built and settled by the same people working in its mines. Thing is, the droughts made it a lot so harder fat. to process. Oh my God! Sweet. Can, can I race? What? We might be able to reach these inaccessible spots one day. Let's try to remember this spot. Flowers again? Huh? Are you stupid or something? Oh, you're not the flower person? Do you really need to ask? Can't you see I'm a fiend? Oh, sorry. I'm I'm blind, so Should you be outside on your own? Grandma said I mustn't, but I just had to thank the flower person. Who's the flower person? They always leave flowers for me when I'm not paying attention. Why would they do that? I don't know. That's why I want to ask them and thank them. But I guess I can't, since I can't be outside all the time. If they come in secret, they'd likely stay away if they saw you. Oh. I just wanted to thank them for all those... Do you have any idea as to who it might be? Hmm. I see. So this flower person approaches from the north. What are you people doing? What do you want with my lasso? You'd best not be up to anything. Ma'am, I assure you, we didn't do anything. Stop, Grandma. They're not bad people. How could a demon not be bad? <sighs> you go back inside. This is why I hate humans. Let's teach you a lesson, Prince. What for? She knows her stuff. Demons are evil, all right. Hey, old man. You plan on looking for that flower person, right? I was. Do you mind if we make a little detour? If you insist. Let's find that goody two-shoes. Ocean's right outside of Sandland, isn't it? Hmm? Is that you, Knocker? Oh, Prince. What are you doing here? I should be asking you that. Why is a demon picking flowers? That's 
a secret. Why? Are you scheming something so bad you can't talk about it? Not at all. Actually, it's the opposite. Wait, you're the one bringing flowers to that blind girl? Oh, so you're the goody two-shoes! Huh, this is exactly why I didn't want you to know. Well, this is certainly a twist. But why do that for a human? She complimented my singing. You're singing? I was walking along, humming to myself, when suddenly I heard clapping. When I looked around, there she was. She said I was good. Are you that good a singer? I like to sing, but no, I'm not very good. But she still thanked me. She said interesting scents and sounds make her happy. So you've been bringing her flowers. I wanted her to enjoy their scent. Why not just sing for her if she said you were good? I can't. She won't be happy anymore if she knows I'm a demon. I'm not so sure about that. She was looking for you so she could thank you. What? I don't need her to. Once was enough. Never mind that. Prince, I have a request. What? The thing is, I want some Alpha Raptor essence. What for? I need it to make a cure for her sight. But I'm not strong enough to defeat an Alpha Raptor. You could cure her sight using that essence? Yeah. All right, we'll see to it. Is that okay with you, Prince? Well, this is for Knocker. It's not like I'm helping a human. You mean it? Great! There's an Alpha Raptor west of here. You just have to beat it. West. Got it. Thanks. I'll get the other ingredients in the meantime. We'll probably find traveling merchants on the main roads. They roam over Sandland, peddling their wares to all comers. Fellow traveler, huh? 
If we find any, let's stop and compare notes with them. Spots to check out now. Which pins can I have? Only three. I see, I see, I see. Always remain calm. Well, it's the leader of the Raptors. Watch out for its fiery breath. Foe's too tough. You can always run away and live to fight another day. <laughs> no such thing is too tough for me. Perhaps not, but I'm telling you just in case that turns out not to be true. Right, alright, fine. Sort of fun. The old 
Man, what would you do if you ran into a tough enemy? Let's see. Well, I'd start by observing them carefully. Knowing what they can do and what their weaknesses are will... Wow. Their defenses are much stronger than I expected. It's practically a fortress. There's no breaking through that. As expected, we'll have to take a detour via East Valley. Hmm. Huh? What's this? Uh, that's my <clears throat> lucky charm. Wait a second. I know this human. She used to be a famous movie star. Sexy terrier, right? <laughs> you might act like a stick in the mud, but looks like you're a dirty old man on the inside. Shut up and sit down. We're moving out. Planning to face the army, old man? Is that what the lucky charm's for? What? But you said we weren't going to fight the royal army! But the old man's obviously gotta pay the royals back for what they pulled on him. H hold on! Please tell me you're joking. That was 30 years ago! It's your fault, thief! You're the one who blabbed all those secrets to him like a total know-it-all. No, my top priority is to find the spring. But if the Royal Army gets in my way, I'll gladly take them on. I'd give my left arm for a chance at Supreme Commander Zeu. Papa! It's a tank! Oh, all the freaks! Nice going, Pike! I knew we'd score us a catch! All right! Get in position! Sure is hot out here. How are you holding up, Prince? What do you mean? This level of heat's nothing. Sure beats the cold, at least. Knocker? Thank you, Prince. I'll make the remedy right away. All done. Please, take it to her. Nah, that's your job. But what if she realizes who I am? You'll be fine as long as you don't get busted as a demon. Hmm. All right. I'm off then. Let's hope that Grandma doesn't see him. Oh! We'd better check things out. Agreed. outside by herself again it seems her eyesight hasn't been restored hey girl 
Did a demon come by? A demon? No. What the heck is Knocker doing? Hmm? Prince, isn't that him over there? Oh, you're right. Hey, Knocker! Hurry it up! Man, I was just psyching myself up, you know? Huh? That voice. Are you the person who sang for me before? Y you remember me? <laughs> Really happy. Would you sing for me? I'm not here to sing today. I came to give you a remedy. A remedy? Yeah, so you can see again. What? I know it sounds fishy. Don't take it if you don't want to. No, I want to. Okay. Here you go, then. Thank you. Uh, who's there? You guys again? Leave now or I'll call for the Royal Army. Wait, Grandma! No, no waiting! Come on, let's go back inside. Um, thank you, Mr. Demon. And I'm sorry. Maybe we really should teach that Granny a lesson. It's fine. I was able to give the girl the remedy. The girl said thank you, Mr. Demon, didn't she? She knew Knocker was a demon? Oh, I guess our hands touched when I gave her the medicine. She didn't seem to mind that you're a demon. I guess some humans don't. That old lady sure does, though. She really might call the army. Guess you won't be delivering any more flowers, then. No. But I got to hear her say thank you again, so I'm happy. Seriously? What? Nothing. Guess I'll be going then. Thanks so much, everyone. Be careful, Prince. Prince, easy on the boot.
Sight indeed. If only this were warm, we wouldn't need the spring anymore. So, what's <laughs> the dude up here? I didn't see him Magic jump down. Magic listen to water. Please. We wouldn't be here if I had magic like that. Yeah, makes sense. Just wanted to check. Who's the next tower gonna be? Because I definitely wanted to do that in like Ed Scream. You can tell where things are down in here. Oh. Drink water. Remember those small clips we come across now and then? You should be aware that there can be useful items up on top of them. Then it's too bad that even the prince can't jump. Them freaks at this must be the East Valley by all appearances. Oh, it's so tall! No way we could have climbed up there without the jump bot. And the legendary spring awaits on the other side, right? I doubt it'll be quite that simple. Even so, it's a big step forward. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's get up there. Probably smart down that way. Please, all in from here would barely even tickle. to get off your butt more than once every hundred years. Easy for you to say from a jump but Huh? Uh, p prince Huh? Whoa! What the heck? That was close! Papa! He missed! Don't worry, just keep throwing! No. <sighs> Pike, sketch all their faces for me, would ya? Coming right up.
<laughs> Papa! It's Beelzebub! He's in the jump bot! What? Beelzebub? Why is the fiend prince hanging around with a human? What did we do? He flapped us last time. Don't be a coward! We're the swimmers! The biggest, baddest criminals in all of Sandland! But for now, we might just want to chuck rocks from a safe distance and be ready to run if it doesn't work. Okie dokie! It's the swimmers! Those little... The swimmers? As in, the famous bandits? I should have known those crooks would play dirty! I'll blow them away! Wait a minute, Prince. The jump bot's history if so much as a single boulder connects with it. Oh, uh, right! Then I'll go thump them in person! I thought I actually heard Beelzebub talking to me just now. You don't think it. I was talking to you. Seems to have nice mind like this. Never tried it before with a human. Oh, and I can be caught too. As humans go, you're pretty dang transparent. Boys, let's go! Here I go! Feed, attacking poor defenseless humans! Dream on! You're the ones who started this fight! Now, how would you like me to finish it? Grrr. Guppy! On it! Ah! Dang it! If 
there's one thing they're good at, it's running away. Hmm? Prince, are you unharmed? <laughs> you think those losers could take me? What's that? I saw the swimmers drop in. Wait, that's me! But what would they need this sketch for? Hmm. <sighs> we, we should be safe now. Pike, you've got the sketches, right? Yeah, but what's missing? Must have dropped it. You've got a gift for drawing, son. Huh, funny. Feel like I've seen this guy somewhere before. All right, shark. Go sell this pick to the news office. Don't let them have it for any less than two million zenny. Malcolm Dry, you hear? Yep. Well, <laughs> I forgot shark runs fast like that. Oh my god. I want items. Well, I'm sorry. Stay Rao. focused. We could still be attacked at any time. We'll be fine so long as the prince is here. <laughs> you do speak sense sometimes, thief. Here we go. Purple rock. Tussled with the swimmers before? Even though they're a bunch of weaklings, they keep the prince forcing me into the sand. This won't work. Intrigued though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. Whoop.
up this program for an update on the recent theft of an army tank. A sketch from an eyewitness has enabled us to identify one of the perpetrators. S say what? This man, spotted inside the stolen tank, has been identified as Rao. The 61-year-old sheriff of a small town to the north of the Central District. Known as Apato Village. However, when we ran the fingerprints of this Sheriff Rao through a centralized database, we discovered a far more shocking truth. Rao is a mere alias. This man's true name should be familiar to every citizen of this kingdom. For it belongs to the military genius who became a general of the Royal Army at the tender age of 27. The legendary super soldier who protected Sandland from rebels and outlaws alike. Famed for his mercy and gentlemanly conduct toward even his fiercest enemies. The great, renowned General Shiva. Huh? A staggering development to be sure. For General Shiva has long been assumed dead, killed by the massive explosion. Caused when he protected Sandland from the attempted Peachy Rebellion. <laughs> that protected Sandland. What I did was murder. Not only that, but his nearby home was destroyed in that same explosion. Slaying his beloved wife and robbing the world of a star. The actress and musician, Sexy Terrier. <gasps> Why didn't you tell me that was your wife? I'm mortified. If I'd known, I'd never have said... Don't worry about it. I thought she was sexy, too. That's why I asked her out. But if she was your wife, why a magazine clipping? Because all the photos I had of her burned up. Shiva! No! It can't be! In inform General Hari of this at once! And while you're at it, tell the news office to double the reward for Shiva! And to make an announcement that anyone found sheltering him will be severely punished! Y yes, sir! Shiva! What are you up to? Zayu, explain this! You told me we'd gotten rid of Shiva! Shh! Keep your voice down, your majesty! What? General Shiva? Y you mean... that? General Shiva? Going to be fighting a legend? Now that's what I'm talking about! Send out the tanks and reinforce our defenses at all locations! Yes, sir! So, what's the plan now, old man? Unchanged. We find that spring, but first. I'd like to swing by one of the radio towers under the army's control east of here. What do you want to do at a radio tower? I have a message that I'd like as many people as possible to hear. And the radio equipment there will let me broadcast what I have to say nationwide. Going to the army's radio tower sits well with me. Is it really worth taking a risk like that? Maybe I 
I've let my ego get the better of me. It's fine. Let the old fogey do what he wants. Good grief. I won't stand in your way. <coughs> Thank you. Both of you. So, what are you going to tell everyone? The truth and what's been on my mind. Got a bad feeling about this. Look over there! Royal Army tanks! This is far too many troops to be defending such a remote location. Were they expecting us? Seems their commander's no stranger to war. Soldiers all over Sandland? There's even a. General Are, the tank squadron at the checkpoint has been decimated. They what? General Shiva's tank took them out and continued on. Ugh. Round up all the soldiers in the area and hunt them down! See the radio tower on top of that hill? That's our target. This'll be a piece of cake. Don't get cocky just yet. The army must be aware of our general location. They're sure to reinforce their defenses in the area. Thank you. Uh, I should spot the the end. Get back to town and go right off somewhere or something.
closing up shop already? Uh, yeah, uh, mm, there's someone I have to meet right now. Someone from the Royal Army? Or maybe the news office? Why would you think that? You've been acting strange ever since the warning about the punishment for hiding Shiva. I'm sure you figured out who we are by now. You saw right through me. No, calling Bettina. Whoa, whoa, whoa! So you were planning on ratting us out to the royal army? We're putting the whole town in danger by letting you people stay here. Your concerns are justified. We don't intend to cause you good people any trouble. We promise to never come back again. Just please allow Anne to keep staying here. She's a personal guest of Mayor Tours and had no part in the theft of the tank. Well, in that case, fine. Hold on. We all busted out of the base in that tank to get... Prince, thief, let's get going. I'm gonna miss that garage. It was like our secret hideout. Let's not be so hasty. Mayor Tor! 80s, don't you know what these people are doing? They've been trying to find a spring. And not just for their own personal benefit, mind you. They're trying to help everyone. Uh, are you crazy? If you do... The army will hunt you for the rest of your lives. Probably, but I can't stand by as the people of this nation suffer any longer. Even if it means putting your life at risk and exposing your secret, General Shiva? That is not my name anymore. But yes, even so. It's this warmongering fool's duty to return the future he stole from this country. Hmm. You heard the man. How about this, 80s? Perhaps we should hear from the entire town before making our final decision. I'm sure each resident has their own thoughts on the matter. Right. This wasn't something for me to decide on my own. Hey, you're with Rao, right? Aren't you leaving with him? I was considering it, but they shot me down. Said I wasn't part of their crew. What gives? Talk about harsh. <laughs> right? I know they're just trying to protect me, but it still hurts. It's frustrating, but part of me is happy to know how much they care. So, I've decided to do what I can by looking after this place. That way, they'll always have somewhere to go back to. Sorry if that's not what you wanted to hear. Ah, you sound like one of their crew, all right. In a good way. Oh? Sorry we gave you the wrong idea. We wanted to tease you for a bit, but we're not here to chase you out. We'll be happy to have you here. We know you guys are salt of the earth. The others don't know you like we do. We'd never rat you out. 
We've never met anyone as good-hearted as you guys. Though BLs would hate being called that. <laughs> that he would. So anyway, we're glad you'll be standing guard at the garage. And stay put. Leave convincing the villagers to us. You got it! It might have to wait for a bit, but we owe her an apology. <laughs> What's wrong, Fleeka? Did you wet the bed again or something? No, it's just that everyone in town seems mad and I'm scared. Forgive me. I'm afraid that's all my fault. Did you get in a fight with them? Not exactly. It's more like I'm what they're all fighting over. I don't want to upset children. I think it's best we leave. Are you guys leaving? That's what we're all trying to decide. But... I don't want you or Beelzebub to go. Maybe you should tell everyone that. Okay. She's a good kid. It's thanks to all of you that she could grow up to be so kind and carefree. I suppose you could say it takes a village, huh? We don't want to disturb the community you've built here. Fleeka considers all of you a part of that community too, you know. This cruel world only ever seems to take more and more away from us. That's why the rare gifts it gives, like new friendships, are something to be truly cherished. That's very kind of you. I'm just not sure it would be right of me to take advantage of such kindness. Eighties! Is it true that you want to report Shiva? Yeah, that's right. I would have done it too, if Mayor Tor hadn't stopped me. And he was right too. We won't submit to the Royal Army's threats, even if it kills us. Oh, are you still carping about that? The Civil War's long since over. For 30 years, to be precise, and we lost. Can't you accept that already? Ah, the Royal Army is still the same bunch of jackbooted thugs they were back then. And I won't stop fighting until that changes. Good grief. Once his temper flares, all you can do is wait for him to cool down on his own. That said, I don't think we should report General Shiva either. He may have been our enemy in the past, but he's a decent, honest man. I mean, he's trying to find water for everyone, isn't he? I trust him. That means a lot. And if he takes the royals down a peg in the process, I can die happy. Hold on. Do you still hate the royal army too, then? You have to ask? Huh. Like I'd ever forgive them for leaving my hometown in ruins. <sighs> I think I know where I stand now. I think we've heard enough. Right. Let's get... It seems we have our verdict now. <laughs> See?
Seems like it. Who knew hatred for the royal army ran so deep? <laughs> <laughs> the rebel army spirit appears to be alive and well. See? There are others who support your cause. Hmm. Sounds like we've really got to find that spring now. Guess so. that way no uh Listen, uh, the end. So what exactly is a material processor? A craftsman who turns ores or animal parts into all sorts of refined goods, from machine parts to useful... <laughs> yeah? And what does a demon like you want with me? Huh? You're looking for a material processor called Norse? <laughs> Sorry. You can look high and low. You're not going to find him. Why's that? Norse? My pop. He's dead. That's why. For real? How are we supposed to get raptor steel now? Oh, so you're a customer. No worries there. Pop taught me the trade. Give me any order, and I'll fill it. Then come work as a material processor in Spino. Come and ride a... Wait. How'd we even get on this subject? Didn't you want... Raptor steel? Uh-huh. But you see, there's this town. Ah, so Spino needs a material processor. And the mayor remembered my pop. Uh, sorry to say this after you came all this way. But no can do. I can't just leave my little sister here on her own. Damn it. I heard everything. Don't worry, little demon. I'll come to Spino. This. <laughs> Don't talk nonsense. It's not nonsense. I've been thinking for a while that I want to leave the nest and open a workshop of my own. No, I won't allow it. Even with Pop's friend there, you can't go to a new town alone. It's always the same with you. All you say is no, no, no. Let me live my own life for once. I said no. If you won't listen, then I'll go to Spino myself. I bet they'd rather have someone skilled anyway. What'd you say? Don't think I didn't hear that. So you think you're better than I am? Of course I am. That's it. Let's face off to see who'll go to Spino. Face off? We'll both make raptor steel and see who's is better. This little demon here will be the judge. Winner goes to Spino. Huh, sounds fun. Count me in. Is that okay with you, little demon? Fine by me. It's settled then. Let's get started. Uh, right after you lend us a pure raptor scale, that is. We just ran out. Ah, uh, sure.
You need there's a Back when Talbo was thriving, this town was filled to the brim with craftsmen. But now, it looks like those siblings are the only ones left. I've been through worse than that. Prince, you got it. Here we go. I'm out of here. Meow. Cave must be close, meaning we've almost got our scale. Pure raptors are rare. I doubt they'll be that easy to find. Look at all these bones. Seem to be mostly animal bones. The survival of the fittest on full display here. Raptor scale you wanted? Yes, that's it. Now I can get started. Let's see. Uh, what's step one again? Hey, are you sure about this? Well, actually, it's my first time making Raptor steel. Oh, but don't worry, okay? I've watched Stan make it before. How are we supposed to not worry? Uh, uh, anyway, I'll get right to it. So wish me luck. Check it out! I did good, right? I have to admit, it doesn't look like it's your first time. Maybe to the untrained eye. Stan! 
Give that here. Look closely. Scratch it a little with a tool. What? Huh? The plating came right off. No way. Why? I bet you forgot to treat the base metal surface. Skip that step, and the plating will come right off. It, it just slipped my mind is all. Oh, uh, uh, Please, give me another chance. Sure, why not? <laughs> Go ahead. Do it as many times as you need. Oh, thanks. I'll need more scales then. Oh, right. Here you go. Oh! There! Done! Scratch all you want, but the plating's not coming off this time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Stan? Hmm. Hey, demon buddy. You confident in your strength? <laughs> of course I am. Who do you take me for? Then, can you try bending this steel with all your strength? No matter how strong he is, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm the Fiend Prince Beelzebub. Don't doubt my strength. <gasps> <sighs> See? I cracked it! No way! How's that possible? <sighs> what temperature did you do the heat treatment at? About 520 degrees Fahrenheit, I think. Uh, I guessed as much. Oh, what's with you? Stop bullying me already! Is that what he's doing? To me, it looks like he's trying to guide you. Huh? Oh, I get it now! Hey, little fiend! Again? I'll succeed for- You've helped her this far. Why not stick with it to the end? Ugh, alright. Oh, thank you! You're the best! Sorry to make you go out again, but this is the last time. If it's another flop, I'll give up on going to Spino. Whew. It's done. How is it, Stan? <sighs> It's pretty much as good as mine, actually. <laughs> it might even be better. You made it? Oh, yay! Oh, you're the best big brother ever, Stan! No! Oh! <clears throat> I mean... My raptor steel is ready. One stand. Here, will this pure raptor scale work? Oh, jeez. You, you actually got me one. Wait, what? Uh, I, mean, I feel bad, but... I was hoping you wouldn't find any, so we could call this thing off. And forget about any of us going to another town. So that was your plan. But since you brought one, I've got to do my job. I'll make my best raptor steel yet. There. Done. This is the raptor steel Norris taught me to make. One look at that tells me how skilled a craftsman your father must have been. And it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. <laughs> it's always nice to hear Pop get compliments. I'm pretty sure I'll win this, but it's all in your hands now. Both our raptor steels are ready. Win or lose, no grudges. Please speak to the person you want in Spino. Got it.
that woman. Are you sure you want me? I beat Stan. Well, not fair and square. I needed a second chance, and a second second chance. But you chose me, so I'll do my best not to disappoint you. All right, time to pack up. Please look after Vest. She's still impulsive and unreliable, but she's got talent. And I'm sure she'll surpass me someday. Right before she passed, Mom asked me to take care of Vess. I hope I was able to fulfill her dying wish. Uh, dang it. Now's not the time to be getting all gloomy. Uh, it's our last night. I've got to be cheerful for her sake. So this is Spino. My new stomping grounds. You're gonna be seeing a lot more of me from now on. Oh, Mayor Tor. Back here again, I see. Zeph wants to talk to you. Something about furniture? Ah, yes. Apologies. When looking out from this spot, I can feel the town's vitality. I suppose that's why I seem to find myself here all the time. <laughs> I think I understand. Though we've still a ways to go, being able to watch the town change before our eyes... ...is a wonderful thing indeed. And we owe it all to Hugh and Fleeka's ceaseless publicity efforts. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think any of the people I talked to ended up moving here. If anyone deserves credit, it's you, Prince. There's no riper time than now to tell them the truth. Nah, it's fine. Not like I did it for them anyways. I'm just in it for making our bots stronger. In that case, we're going to need an EX chip store if we don't want their power plateauing. Materials and Anne's knowledge alone will only get us so far. Yeah, guess so. Well, back to work I go. Zeph wanted to speak to me about furniture, was it? More specifically, about a lack of said furniture. Now that you mention it, other townsfolk had similar grievances. The more people come, the more necessities arise, I suppose. Such is the way of things. Not a bad problem to have, though. There's no surer sign that vitality has returned to Spino. Now is the time for action. Spino shall shine once more. Looks like your vitality's returned too, Mayor. Isn't that great, Hugh? Yep. Wowie. This place has a lot more potential. I've got. I'll do my best. Don't want. Man, what am I gonna do? Monsters! <laughs> <laughs> nice shriek. What do you find scarier? Fiends or monsters? Oh, well, I'm used to you now, Beelzebub, yes. Ugh. And well, there's a rumor monsters have moved into the East Valley. If you go through, you can hear them growl from the cliffs. Peddlers are too scared to go through there now, I hear. If that rumor spreads, merchants might stop coming to town. Right. So now it's my job to stamp the monsters out. Just because I'm an ex-soldier doesn't mean I'm a one-man army. So why'd you take on a monster hunting job in the first place? Well... I recently took on another job from a peddler. He had bought up too much cargo, you see? 
So the job was to keep it safe until he came back. Which I was more than happy to do, so I accepted the job immediately. But when the peddler left, he joked, Don't you go selling any of that out from under me now. And, well, that gave me ideas that I tried to resist. I ended up selling it all for peanuts to some random traveler. You've really got to work on that habit of yours. The peddler blew his top. I said I'd do anything to make it up. Turns out anything is go drive away hordes of monsters. Yeah. Sounds like just desserts, honestly. Beat up monsters? Sounds like a good time to me. Then be my guest. If there really are monsters, that is. And if so, yeah, beat them up if you can. Whoop. No, I... It was this one I wasn't sure on. Where... That's enough of that, it's the end time. <laughs> Hours now, like six, seven, eight, eight, eight. eight. That's not a good amount to go through the game. I wish there was like an easier way for the um, stealth one. There's a spot for it. Uh, and I, I don't think I'm gonna raid anybody because it's so just like early in the morning. 